Have you ever wondered why you keep failing at a particular thing? Or why you always get stuck at a particular place? Or reasons why a series of tragedy keeps reoccurring? The answer to this question is in the Bible in the book of Proverbs chapter 26 from verse 2 that makes us to understand that there is no cause without a cause. This was the case of a woman who came to Christ as an old ministry of all nations and was located during a Sunday prophetic service through prophecy by God's servant written by, who told her that her womb was not situated in the right position due to a ritual that was performed on her when she was still a teenager in junior secondary school. Written by the son of the prophet, went on to deliver her and repositioned her womb while he showed her where she was marked on her body. The next Sunday, the woman came to the church to confirm the prophecy of God's servant written by while outlining the series of events, including the premature loss of a set of twins leading to the day that God located her. This video highlights that there are in fact physical problems of spiritual origin. Let's watch her confirmation. Praise the Lord Church. My name is Esther Shima. Um, I relocated to um, just middle of last year and because my husband was here after our wedding I joined him here and I've been trusting God for a place of worship. I kept um, looking for places to go to and then one weekend I came to pay um, a family friend a visit to spend the weekend with them and then she said let's go to church. I said okay. While I got to this place, to the gates, I told God something. I said, I opened my heart for, for my own testimony in this place. That I'm coming to this place, I will not go back the same. I've been hunting for a place to worship. I came to this place and I sat, I was directed to sit here in front. That same day was the 1st of October. The, uh, the prophet located me here and he said, my daughter, pray against family problem. I started shaking. Then he said, there's no problem, let's just pray against family problem. Everything holding your marriages, making you not to eat the fruit of your labor. Enough is enough. I'm talking to you, that yellow woman, strength forth your hand. I don't know you. This is what God told me. You have suffered and nobody will eat what you have labored for. You are in the right place. A place where you are is a place you don't tell anybody your case. But Holy Ghost will reveal because in the beginning it was not like that and no strange person will come to attach to your destiny from today i uproot anyone that want to reap from your source Amen. i declare peace i declare open door i declare sources in your life and your marital statue in the name of jesus christ Amen. and then he later said he said he, 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 he prayed for me and later said um, if I can see his back, then I'm going to have a son. I hear God. How do you know God has answered you? You might not need it, but it must come to pass. Receive, see my, see my leg? As you go back home now, you might not need it. Receive a baby boy. I accepted, I received it with my whole heart, believing God, and went home thanking God. And I related the testimony to my husband that this is what happened. I have found a place of worship. So during the program, during the, that Sunday service, um, the prophets announced that there will be a 21 days program and I said yes. That problem that I said I should pray against, I've had, uh, this is an avenue to pray. I moved, my, I moved to join them in their place so I'll be able to be coming because we stay far. I joined in that fasting and in the process God blessed me with the fruit of the womb and the pregnancy was smooth. I finished the fasting here, even the dried one they said we should do. I said this pregnancy will not stop me. I finished it and each time I, I have the opportunity to go home and see my husband, the, jot, the things I jotted in my book, I will sit him down and say, let me preach to you. This is what the prophet said and then he was believing. He keeps saying, this is your prophet. This, sometimes he follows me to church. Fast forward to December. I woke up one morning, I was having cramps. Then I saw that, I went to ease myself and I saw that I was bleeding. 
And I said, the devil is a liar. I went to the hospital. He went to relate it to the, my husband. He said we should go to the hospital. We went to the hospital. We went to see the doctor. And he tried to do a scan. He was searching for the pregnancy. This is an experienced doctor that was looking for where the baby was. And then he said, let's leave this place and go to another room so that we can use a bigger scanner. He used the scanner and checked and said, Madam, do you know you're pregnant with twins? I said, yes. So he said, but one is coming down. I looked at it and laughed. He said, have you been sick? I said, I've been fine till today. He said, okay, we should go home. That is not going to give me administer anything. And he also said that the babies had stopped growing. That the points that they were, they were supposed to be bigger than what they, how they were in the, in the... So he gave me the scan results. I took it home. I said, this, this baby came as a result of the, the, the prophetic utterance from the prophet. That the will of God would prevail. They asked my husband if, they want, if he wants, because they said, at this point, if they want us to go on, the baby might have issues because the, the children, they are at the point of where they, their hearts are developing, that they might have issues. My husband said he wants perfect children. I said, okay. That was how we went home. Before I got home, the first uh, baby came down. I went inside. I said, God, I will not cry. This babe, I believe this prophet so much that if this one you've given to me is not going to stay, this they should come down so that the one that is mine will come. I kept praying. The next day was Wednesday service. I came here bleeding. I took the communion service. I cried to God. I went back home. Sunday, if, Sunday I kept bleeding. decided I should go back to the hospital for, for an excavation. I said, me, I will not go through that because my younger sister had that and it was, blood, it was crazy. I said, I will not go back. I came back to church on Sunday. I was in pain. See, I couldn't even sit down in church. I said, anything that wants to happen to me should happen to me in this church. Let me see how it will happen. To, that was the day the prophet asked us to, that we are going to climb the altar on that mat and declare. And then he said something that day. He said, everything that needs to come down will come down. I said, this is my word. I was in severe pain as if I was in labor. I climbed on that altar. And when I climbed on that mat, I said, this baby should come down. Let me have peace. And that was how when I went home, this, this pregnancy came down to the glory of God. And then after that, I kept trusting God. I said, the word of the prophet must not fall to the ground empty. That it must come to pass in my life. We traveled for the Christmas and came back. And then I kept asking God certain questions. Why did it happen? It, be, it started becoming a burden to me after I had prayed about it. But I know that the prophet is a man of God. And his word must come to pass in my life. That was how I came to church on Sunday. Each time I'm coming to church, I empty myself. I tell the Holy Spirit to fill me up himself. Everything I know, I drop it at the gates. When I come here, I prepare myself to be blessed. I came here on Sunday again, last week Sunday. The prophet located me there. He said I should come. I came. He said my womb is not well posi positioned. He said, and it is not my fault. And he also said that, they took me to a place that they gave me inscription. Your womb is not in the place. You, you yellow man, yes. Your womb is not in the place. Uh, if you like, you are married? Yes, sir. Have you gone to hospital? No, sir. You believe in me? Yes, Come. Her womb is supposed to be here. Your womb is here. Relax. Please, a woman, a lady. Can I use a woman, a lady, please? Your hand. Being fit. Jacob. That's all. This is not a, a medical issue. <clears throat> if she open up her body, she has, look up here, woman. There is a black three mark they gave you here. There's a four here. There's three here in your, in your waist. Uh, they will give you this mark, teenager. Yes, sir. Uh, that mark, they rub, 
because they said you have more meaning spiritual yes, when you were small. Yes, sir. Mm. That is what shifted it. But God has shifted it to the right direction. Yes, sir. Now, when I finished primary school, my dad said I should go to the village so that I can know his people and learn the language. He took me to the village. I did my Genesis 1 to Genesis 3. From Genesis 1, I was always sick, and he always comes to take me to the hospital. So while in Genesis 2, first time, he take me to, took me to a native doctor. And that was where every part that the prophet said they gave me those inscriptions was true. She has, look up here, woman. There is a black three mark they gave you here. There is a four here. There is three here in your, in your waist. Mm. They will give you this mark, teenager. Yes, sir. Uh, this man gave me this mark and gave me something to heal that I passed out. And then I came back to life. I didn't, from that, when I got there and I saw that it was a shrine, I told my dad that this is not a good place. At that age, my dad said, what do I know I should come? Let's go. And that was it. While I am thanking God today is because this scan, I remember in the hospital because the doctor was trying to look for my womb. An experienced doctor knows where the womb is. But he was looking for it before he had to go, we had to go to another bigger scanner for him to see it. It confirmed my question to God. When I said, what happened? I want to thank God that God has revealed it and he has answered me and delivered me from that affliction. Praise the Lord.